Hello everyone, I'm Scratch. Welcome to the channel. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video and actually welcome to my free to pay account. Today we have the 10x on Harima guys. She is one of the best arena champions in the entire game, especially when we are talking about live arena. Now how I mentioned this is not my main account. This is my free to pay account and I do have quite a lot of strong champions on it, but I'm really missing a lot of Mera champions for Arena. So I have a clan mate that's actually uh, playing this account and is kind of like grinding, uh, grinding on it. We need some, some sort of a strong champion in here. You see, we haven't got Taras. You've seen probably that we attempted on the 10x, we attempted on 2x events and stuff. We have a lot of other strong champions, but... We need maybe a Harima, maybe we need a Baron, a Georgit, something like that. Now, of course, the only things we're going to be able to get today is Harima. Harima, 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 and more Harimas. Before we move over to open all the shards that we have on, guys, I just want to let you know, if you enjoy the music you hear in the video, I partnered up with Soundstripe. They have an amazing music library, so if you're a content creator, a music enthusiast, definitely head over and check them out. The link will be in the description down below or in the pinned comment. Plus, I can save you 20% on checkout by using code SCRATCH. That being said, you know the drill. Head over to chat 888. I know today is bringing me that sweet, juicy luck. YOLO baby and let's get it on i feel like it's happening it's happening we have 196 ancients 19 sacreds hopefully we're not gonna have to burn all of them so we can keep some for uh, for the fusion or maybe for a guaranteed event if anything will come in the near future i have no idea where the mercy is at the moment i'm not keeping track on this account because you know what i want to be surprised when i'm pulling the legendary we, without knowing where where the mercy is and we got Trugor, this rare champion. He actually looks pretty, pretty interesting. You know, like, I haven't seen this champion in a long, long time. Ogryn Jailer. Keep in mind, the chances to summon legendary champions or epic champions are still miserable, guys. They haven't got increased or anything like that. It's just a 10x chance to summon Harima from Ancients or Sacreds. The chances to get Harima are astronomical okay like the 10x events are just not great all around because we have so many non-void legendaries in the game that they're kind of like pretty pretty hard to to justify honestly i've opened on my main account i've got a different legendary i have different clan mates that again got up to like 10 legendaries without pulling the 10x legendary and just imagine you're, you're pulling 10 different legendaries and you're still not getting the 10x one that's how low the chances are. Yes, you can get extremely lucky, snap your fingers, click on a shard, and bang, just get her. You know, like, it's all about that luck. I guess that's what makes the, the shard opening so, so fun, you know? But when it doesn't, uh, when it doesn't happen, it's pretty, it's pretty upsetting, actually. So let's see, are we getting 20 rares back to back? What else we have in here? War Maiden, 20 rares back to back. Beautiful. Paying that tax. We do have the CVC on, which will... We'll get some points from opening shards, but we have no summon rush, no champion chase tournament or anything like that. So it's not, it's definitely not the best time to, to open shards. But when you kind of like aim at a particular champion and that's kind of like why you want to get, you're going to go and do it. You know, Deacon Armstrong, Jotun, and hopefully we're going to, we're going to drop her uh, out of here, you know. I do have some gems available, but I kind of like don't want to drop those, uh, those gems from there. Let's see. We gotta we gotta keep those those gems for 3x savage, 3x speed on the on the dungeons to farm some gear. Lots of rares, barely any epics all around. What do we have? Scion. I feel like he's a daily login rare champion. But we should have enough ancients to hit one legendary and then move over to, to the sacreds, you know? If by any chance it's not Harima, what do we have? Lanak is the chosen. You're not the chosen anymore. You know what? Actually, she used to be very powerful before and She's still a pretty decent champion. The, only, the main thing that is kind of like wrong with her is the RNG on her skill. So with the A1, places a continuous heal buff on this champion for one turn if the attack is critical. Right here, you're getting teams up with three random allies. This was great for, uh, for Arena. Fills the turn meter and increases the duration of all ally buffs by one turn. She was the very first champion in the game, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, brought increases the duration of all ally buffs by one turn. When I got Lana Kiss, and that's when the Rotus Fusion uh, was in game, 
she used to be my number one go-to uh, to deal with Rotos. Just ally attacks, you know, used to be amazing uh, against Rotos. And she was pretty good. But I feel like since she didn't age very well, you know, like we have increased crit rate, increased attack on all allies for two turns. And is this fully booked 50% chance of granting an extra turn? In clan boss can mess you up because she's quickly gonna lose the buffs if she's gaining the extra turns just randomly whenever she's using this you don't know if she's gonna do it she's not gonna do it it's harder to tune yes you can use her in the infinite comp which is gonna go on and on and on but out of there is not as reliable unless you're switching this uh, skill off and it would be nice to have this increased attack together with the ally attack on the same skill would be amazing Yes, blender comps are not that great uh, anymore. Seems like I gotta do a bit of space and we're gonna be back to it. Right, so we're back at it. We have exactly 110 shards. I feel like we got five in the mercy, if I'm not mistaken. I think the legendary dropped on the top right corner. So we, we might not get another legendary out of here. We might have to use some gems. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully we're just gonna bang the Harima home quick, man. Two, two epic champions, Yaga, and we got a Cormac, the high peak. Not uh, very special epic champions. They're not amazing, honestly. What do we have there? We have an outbound OG epic champion who definitely needs a bit of a, a bit of love from Plarium. Hopefully, in the near future, he will be getting some of that. You know, bunch of rares, bunch of chickens. I'm hungry. Give me that food. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Probably we're gonna get a champion, a champion training event or tournament. In the next few days because of the of the fusion so getting the food is essential anyway you know so just bring it on but while you are bringing me all this juicy delicious food bring me a harima as well please game i know you can do it plarium be nice to my free to pay account be nice to my free to pay account let's see what else we have in here gladiator vala sanguinea Ooh, we got another legendary and that's knock the paralyzer Again, not a Harima, but hey, this is actually a pretty interesting uh, legendary. I can't remember if he's new or no. We're going to check that. I haven't seen how many points they popped on the screen, honestly, uh, for the CVC. But damn, he's an interesting one. HP-based champion and is all about poisons. On the A1, a chance to land decreased accuracy. On the A2, attacks all enemies, a chance to land sleep. And after, lands poisons. Places an additional 5% poison uh, debuffs for 2 turns whenever a sleep debuff placed by this skill is removed or disappears after an enemy takes damage. Then ally protection on all allies, continuous heal buffs on all allies for 2 turns, which is pretty interesting. And heals the champion uh, by 3% of their max HP and all allies except this champion by 1% of this champion's max HP every time a poison debuff ticks on an enemy or a... Uh, Whenever an ally is attacked while under an ally protection buff, has a 40% chance of placing a sleep debuff on the attacker for one turn. Pretty interesting kit. I don't find him extremely OP, but he's definitely pretty a pretty decent carry uh, for uh, for progression, you know. So damn, that's our second legendary in there. No Harima. We're still going with the ancients that we have. Seems like the odds are pretty good, right? The odds are in our favor. A lot of times I'm going on two axes and... Oh, oh, oh my god, another legendary. Tronda, Guild Mallet, what is happening? I was gonna say, a lot of times I go on two X uh, events and I summon no legendary out of 200 shards. I gotta go over the 200 when the mercy kicks in. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. A, a third legendary, just like that. Tronda, still a very powerful nuker, amazing for Hydra. She is solid for Arena, but not for the high-end arena anymore. She used to be the queen for a long time. She wear her crown with a lot of pride. But right now, she is not uh, as powerful. And the reason for it, the majority of uh, OP champions for arena now are void. We have Duchess, we have Arima, we have Rotos. Candy is still, is still good. And the majority, the rest, kind of like void, you know. This skill is very powerful on the Hydra. Once you hit a decapitated head with this, you're gonna do so much damage to, to, to the rest. But hey, here we go. We got another Tronda. Can't complain about it. 100% no. Can't complain about it. I can't, can't even remember how... Uh, how empowered is the other one that is... Oh my god, another legendary. This is just crazy, man. What is happening? Skull Lord Vargal 
three legendaries in 30 shards. My god, this is just insane. Like, is this for real? Is this for real? I can't believe it. But check this out. Four legendaries on the 10x and still no Harima, guys. That's how bad 10x events are. And we're still stupid and we're still trying for them. You know, we're still trying for them. This was a pass fusion. Is an extremely tanky champion. He's great for faction wars. Decrease attack AoE on a Triton cooldown. Strengthen, provoke. Interesting champion. I don't find him too OP. But definitely fun, uh, fun to, to play around with. My god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Definitely on fire with the raids. I gotta say, I haven't pulled so many legendary legendary champions out of Ancients. On, on a 10x without having the 2x. It must have been like, I don't know, probably a couple of years, guys. Not even messing around. To, to get 4 legendaries out of like less than 200 uh, voids. On a regular... Uh, regular day you know look at that three epics as well pretty pretty juicy come on man give me that harima please i know you can do it game i know you can do it scratch you filthy filthy whale how do you even dare to ask for more after you just pulled all those legendaries you know like ridiculous i gotta make a bit of space guys and move over to sacreds no point to open more ancients because we're pretty far off from the mercy and it might cost us like what 15k gems just to get another legendary if the luck goes down so i'll prefer not to not to do so here we are 19 sacreds please let me just click on one and just let me bring that harima home pretty please with cherries on top and all the good stuff okay what do we have here we have a cormac the high peak again decent for the sylvan watchers uh fashion but not that amazing all around as a as a champion you know Allure, still a beast if you're looking to progress in the Fire Knight, if you're looking to progress on the uh, Dark Face. Sorry, I forgot her name for a second there. You know why? Because we only have one rotation of the Doom Tower with, with her in it. We need more so we can farm more Little Gear Plarium. Make it happen, please. Masamoto, very nice design on the champion and an absolute great Vault Keeper. What do we have here? We have a Taurus, interesting champion as well. Great for a uh, poison detonation, like to pair with uh, with Xavias, to pair with uh, Elena Reels if you don't have that broken champion called Calvalax. Adriel, so we're six sacreds in so far, no legendary. I just want to get the one that we need. It doesn't matter that we need to open all the sacreds as long as we're getting the right one, you know. What do we have in here? Gorlo Helmo, we got a Sepulchre Sentinel before, which was... Definitely pretty, pretty juicy. And what do we have in here? No, this is a robot. It's not Harima. Five legendaries on this 10x and still no Harima. My God. Now, Robar is a very strong nuker. But the main problem with him is that he's conditional. Attacks all enemies, has a chance to land defense down with this skill, which is great on a 3 turn cooldown. This skill attacks all enemies. Damage increases if the target is under. Fear, true fear, freeze, provoke, sleep, stun, petrification. This skill here hits extremely hard, don't get me wrong. But it's conditional. And in the current meta, considering that we have all, all the polymorph around, it's much harder to, to land all these debuffs. So, unfortunately, it's much harder to make use of, uh, of Robar. But very powerful in terms, of, uh, in terms of damage. And very fun with the A1, with the stun. So, Overall, great, great for faction wars, great to have a, a champion to nuke waves and stuff, but not as powerful for higher end arena. You know, if you get him early on and you're trying to progress through bronze, silver in arena, yeah, you can you can do some work with him. Sinesha, my god, man, five legendaries and no Harima. This feels so bad. Please, game, give me one more and make it count. Shatter Bones, the one and only big shakalaka Shatter Bones. Come on, Harima. Come on, Harima, come home. Magna, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Strong, uh, strong epic nuker. One of the best in the game, actually. HP based as well. Oh, my God. Missionary. No, we don't want to. We don't want to get a missionary right now. We want to get Harima. We want to get Harima. Oh, I thought that that was going to be one legendary right there. Just the, the lag. Rock breaker. Pretty uh, interesting and fun champion. Provoke uh, with the, with the skill counter attack. Very nice. What do we have here? A Yume Togi. Four more sacred shards. My god, this is absolutely painful. This is painful, guys. Please, Harima, come home. Ugh. Hotatsu. Another awesome champion. Actually, pretty, pretty interesting. 
We're definitely getting some strong epics in here. But you know what? We're looking for Harima. Talia. Love the, love the design of the champion. Looks really cute, actually. Come on, Harima. Oh, my God. Who's this? Defiled Sinner or Karam? One more chance to go, ladies and gentlemen. Plarium, RNG Jesus. Whoever can hear me out there, please make it happen. Give us one Harima. Pretty please, cherries on top. And everything else that you need. Okay. This is definitely not a Harima. Tarshan. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Five legendary champions. No Harima. We got a Warrior Circle pack right here because, how I mentioned, this is my free-to-pay account. I'm actually not spending money on it, guys, but it's not completely free-to-play. Like, a lot of money was spent on this account before. And I was just curious to see this pack. It's actually a pretty, pretty decent pack, man. I wish they would give me packs like this on my account as well, but I'm not getting, getting Warrior's uh, Circle packs because filthy spenders don't get them on, uh, on the other accounts. You know what? Just to end it... Uh, with a, with a good day here, let's open these Mortal Soul Stones as well. I'm a bit gutted that we haven't got Harima. We did manage to get five legendary champions. The raids on Ancients were absolutely nuts. Yes, we got a Tranda from there, which is a win. But unfortunately, she is not. Uh, she's really not in the meta at all at the moment. So I can't really do much with her for a PvP. That's kind of like what we really cared about. But hey, Doom Priest to start decent. Maybe next time, maybe next time. Who knows? On a, on two X voids, we might get something uh, something super juicy. Till uh, till next time, you know, we're gonna have to save up the shards, and we're gonna get a Taras, a Baron, a Georgid. Those are kind of like the the main nukers at the moment, you know. I wish I would have gotten a Rotos at least from here. It would have been good, but unfortunately, was not the case. Hopefully, you guys had better luck uh, in terms of getting the champions that you wanted. You know, the motto of the channel is always quality over quantity you know so that's pretty much uh, what matters that was all for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to smash that like subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to turn on all notifications to make sure you won't be missing on any of the future content much love appreciate all of you guys watching peace